This video is a follow-up to my video a month ago about Niantic breaking fast catch. I stand by my conclusions in that video. Something changed in the game that caused a common fast catch technique, and the one that I used, to work less reliably, or even not at all. Basically, when sliding open the berry tray, it no longer opens with a horizontal swipe that goes slightly down, instead of slightly up. If the tray doesn't open after the throw, then the fast catch fails. I didn't really provide a recommendation in that video about how to fix your technique, but what I personally did was continue to use the same horizontal swipe technique, but deliberately tried to move slightly up instead of slightly down. I found this quite awkward, and not as reliable as I wanted. Well. Many of you made comments either saying that fast catch didn't break for you, or proposed alternative techniques. I'm sure a lot of these work, but I found one of your suggested techniques to be by far the best for me. Here's what you said. Try swiping up the menu. You can still do it completely fine if you swipe up. The fuss is over nothing. What has been working consistently for me is to drag the berry tray upwards instead of towards the middle. Just swipe the berry menu up instead of horizontally and it works perfectly. I tried this and you're all absolutely correct. Not only does swiping upward work perfectly, but I would argue it's actually easier than my old technique, since it involves less thumb movement and the thumb moves in a more natural direction. I now use this version of Fast Catch exclusively. For the sake of completeness, here's a video of my exact technique. The basic idea of Fast Catch is to use the non-dominant hand's thumb to hold down the berry or ball selection icon. In my case, I use my left thumb to hold the berry icon. Then, with the dominant hand, throw the ball. Once it's in the air, swipe the thumb on the icon upward to open the berry or ball selection screen. Immediately dismiss the screen by tapping anywhere outside of it. This will result in a bugged UI, where most of the UI is still visible, when normally it is hidden during a throw. Most importantly, the flea icon in the top left is visible and usable. Once the ball hits the Pokemon, Tap the visible flea icon in the upper left, and you will instantly be returned to the map screen with the catch attempt completed. Thanks to all who commented on my previous video and pointed out this solution. In the last month, have you altered your fast catch technique like I have? Let me know in the comments. Please like and subscribe. I'll see you next time.